similar to the theme of, of, of rare yet actionable mutations, let's move on to N-track fusions. Um, this has been a unique story in and of itself, a tissue agnostic trial basket study uh, having patients anywhere from four months of age yeah. all the way into the mid-70s who had solid tumor malignancies that harbored specific intract fusions uh, uh, treated uh, with larotrectinib showing in, in really in, in, in incredible results, um, practice changing. Um, so, Lamilla, you want to talk yeah. about uh, that data uh, that was just published recently? Uh, so, N-TRAC fusions, even more rare than V600E mutant lung cancer. Um, you can find N-TRAC fusions on a regular next generation sequencing. Uh, we have a fairly impressive data on larotrectinib in that patient population, as Ben already mentioned, was a combination of uh, childhood cancers as well as an adult cancers. There were a total of 55 patients, and response rate to larotrectinib was 75%. We have not seen in lung cancer um, as high of a response as with a couple of exceptions of uh, um, ALK patients and maybe EGFR mutations. Uh, patients. Um, what's also important that responses appear to be quite durable. So in the presentation, the median progression for survival has not been reached, that, but at uh, one year, 71% of the responses were still ongoing. So to me, this is completely practice changing. Um, I think, yes, most likely you will not see or maybe see one patient with n mutation in your lifetime. But I would say even a single patient with n mutation missed, um, I think it's one too many because the response rate is so great and you do have an access for the community oncologist. Um, you know, your nearest academic institution most likely has an n drug or, you know, somewhere close one you can find an n drug. Another thing that's important, I think, about larotrectinib that it's extremely well tolerated. So majority of the adverse events were grade one. So patients did very well, responses were quick. I personally have not seen yet um, a lung cancer patient with n mutation, but I have treated um, a thyroid cancer patient and colorectal cancer patient with n mutation with really good responses on a clinical trial. It really underscores, again, we'll talk about this at the end, the importance of next-gen sequencing Comprehensive genomic profiling, I think, is is critical to identify. This is not just a story about EGFR ALK, of course. This is a story about other rare uh, action mutations in the context also of our PD-1 testing, and we'll talk about that.